Okay, hopefully after this video, we can still keep our sanity. We are going to do the times table in base 7. And as we all know, in base 7, we only have the digits from 0 to 6. So this is all I want to do with you guys. And I will work this out vertically. And also, let me tell you guys that multiplication in base 7 is still commutative, meaning that when you change the order of multiplication, the answer is still the same. So for example, this entry, which is 2 times 5, it's the same as 5 times 2, which is this entry right here. So this and that, they will have to have the same answer. But anyway, I will work out everything just for extra practice. And here we go. First, I will do 0 times all that, which is just all 0. So this is pretty easy. Just 0 all the way. And next, I will do 1 times all that, which is just all that. So you just pretty much write it down. 0, 1, 2. And this is just like copy and paste. Like how do you guys do your English essays? I know. <laughs> anyway, next, I do 2 times all that, 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, so far so good, right? But what is 2 times 4? I know you guys want to say 8, but in base 7, we don't have 8. What do you do? We have to know that 8 is the same as 7 plus 1. So you write it down as 1, 1. Yes, in base 7, 2 times 4 is 1, 1. Because right here, you have 1 times 7 to the first power plus 1 times 7 to the zeros power. Remember, the first place right here is the 1's place, 7 to the zeros power. And this place is 7 to the first power. All right? And now, let's move on to 2 times 5, which is 10. But we have to know that 10 is the same as 7 plus 3. So you write down 1, 3. 1, times 7 to the first power plus 3 times 7 to the zeroth power is the usual 10. But you write down 1, 3 in base 7. Next, 2 times 6 is 12, but 12 is the same as 7 plus 5. So it's 1 of the 7 plus 5 times 7 to the zeroth power. So you write down 1, 5 like this, right? I know, it's kind of crazy, but you know, yeah, it's okay. Next, let's do 3 times 0, which is 0. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. So far, so good. 3 times 3 is 9, but 9 is the same as 7 plus 2. So you write down 1, 2. Next, 3 times 4 is 12, but 12 is the same as 7 plus 5. So you write down 1, 5. 3 times 5 is 15, but 15. Let's write this down right here. This is 15 in the usual sense. Well, it's like 7 plus 8, but you see you cannot use 8. So what you do is, you look at this as 2 times 7, which is 14, plus, well, that's 14, and I need another 1, right? So look at 15 as 14 plus 1, and 14 is 2 right here. So you write down 2, 1, like this. 3 times 5 in the, seven, in the base 7 world is 2, 1, right? It's 14 plus 1, that's why. All right, next, 3 times 6 is 18. 18 is the same as 14 plus 4. So you write down 2, 4. Because this means 2 times 7 to the first power, which is 14, plus 4 times 7 to the zeroth power. All right, so altogether, you get the usual 18. All right, next. 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 1, 1. Because that's 8 in the, seven, in the base 7 world. Next, 4 times 3 is 12, but 12 is the same as 1 of the 7 plus 5 of the 1s, right? So it's 1, 5. Next, 4 times 4 is 16, but 16, you have to recognize that as 14 plus 2. So you write down 2, 2, right? This right here will give you 14, this right here will give you the 2. Next, 4 times 5 is 20. Well, 20 is the same as 14 plus 6, so it's 2, 6. Next, this right here is 24 in the usual pace, in the usual sense. You know that this is 21 plus 3. And 21 is the same as 3 times 7, plus this is as 3 times 7 to the zeroth power. So 4 times 6 is 3, 3. Crazy, huh? All right. Now let's do this one. And as I said, in fact, we know the answer is that you can just like flip this diagonally, but I will just work out everything so we have extra practice. Anyway, 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 2 is 10, which is the same as 1, 3, right? Because you have 7 plus 3, so you have 1, 3. 5 times 3 is 15, 
which is 14 plus 1, so you put down 2, 1. Next, 5 times 4 is 20. 20 is the same as 14 plus 6, which is 2, 6. And you see, this and that are the same, because that was 5 times 4 as well. Anyway, 5 times 5 is 25. 25 is the same as 21 plus 4. And to get 21, you put a 3 right here, and then you have to have the 4 as I've mentioned it. So, this right here is 3, 4. Next, 5 times 6 is 30. Let's write it down. 30, we have to recognize that this is 28 plus 2. Why I put 28? Because this right here is a multiple of 7. You can look at this as 4 times 7, and then plus the 2 that you need. Therefore, 5 times 6 in the base 7 world is 4, 2. So you put down 4, 2 like this. Yeah. Next, uh, seven, 6 times 0 is 0. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 is the same as 1, 5. 6 times 3 is 18. 18 is the same as 14 plus 4. So that's 2, 4. 6 times 4 is 24. 24 is the same as 21 plus 3. So that's 3, 3. 6 times 5 is 30. 30 is this right here, which is 4, 2. And lastly, 6 times 6, which is 36. But 36 is what? 35 plus 1. You put down 5, 1. Once again, 6 times 6 is 36 in the usual sense, but you look at this as 35 plus 1. And this right here is because you have 5 times 7 plus 1. It should be in green like that. All right, so this right here is pretty much it. This is the times table in base 7. And I will be using this to do my other video. I will show you guys how to change between two bases without going to base 10. So watch out my next video, but at the moment, this is it.